going to the gym has taught me anything, it would have to be this one lesson. And that is to fuck the easy way out. Now let me give you a bit of a background story. I joined the gym about four and a half years ago. And at the time I was six feet tall, 70 kilos, which is about 155 pounds. So I was pretty skinny. And I wasn't feeling as masculine as I could have been and was getting a lot of shit from girls. So as a teenager at that time, I thought a noble goal would be to put on some muscle mass and to show all those girls off. Now, initially, progress was slow, so I hated it. Of course, this is natural because, you know, the human body, just like anything, likes to take the path of least resistance. Nobody likes putting in hard work and not seeing the expected results that they want. However, I stayed with it and once I started seeing some progress, once I started seeing some gains, I got more motivated and it just became a feedback loop. I kept going. So over the years, what I noticed was that the more I progressed to the gym, that is, the more I progressed on the weights I was putting on the bar, the amount of reps I was doing, my knowledge on nutrition, my rest and stuff like that, the more gains I saw in the mirror. So I made a very clear correlation that the more I progressed week by week, the better I got. So I kept doing that every week from four and a half years ago to now. I just kept progressing and progressing and progressing in any way I could. So naturally what happened is I made gains. I got a lot bigger, a lot more impressive. Now, the other day, I went back to the gym where I started off at just to train with a friend. And I noticed there was a lot of people that were in this gym that were there four and a half years ago. People that I used to look up to. Now, I'm not bragging or anything, but these people didn't look as impressive that day. They actually looked smaller. And they were using the same weights they were using four and a half years ago, doing the same reps. And funny enough, some of these people actually came up to me and were surprised. They're like, bro, you've gone huge. What'd you do, bro? Oh, you in the juice? And that's the problem with society. Everyone wants the easy way out. No one wants to fuck the easy way out because it's hard. Everyone wants the quick pill. Everyone wants the fat burner that's going to burn fat. Everyone wants the steroids. Everyone wants the garage quick scheme. That's why books such as the four hour work week where there's this great idea of getting passive income and doing nothing and delegating all your shit to India or books like The Secret where you envision driving a Lamborghini Aventador and if you keep envisioning it, you're gonna get it. That's why books like these are so popular because they feed into the human nature which is always to take the easy way. It's human nature to always take the path of least resistance. That's why you have to fuck the easy way. The easy way is not for us. The easy way is not where success is. If you wanna get good at something, the hard truth is that you have to do the hard stuff. You have to do the hard stuff and you have to do it consistently. It's not a sexy answer. It's not something that the masses would listen to because it's hard. Only a few people actually take this message to heart and actually understand what I'm saying here. And over the years, something I've actually enjoyed doing at the gym as well, me and my friends, is we'll put on a weight, perhaps on the bench press, We'll pull it 315 or something. And we'll start the first set. And we'll do a certain amount of reps, maybe one rep. Second set, we'll do two reps. Third set, three reps. Fourth set, four reps. Just increasing. And usually what people do is, as you increase weight, you have to reduce reps. This makes sense. Um, what we're doing in terms of exercise science makes absolutely no sense. It's actually retarded. You don't want to be doing that, but it gives us a psychological advantage. It gives us a psychological advantage in regards to the fact that we know that we're getting better as the set goes on. It baffles people that are watching. They can't understand. Why are they making this harder for themselves? Why are they taking the hard way out? It's because we believe in our mantra of fuck the easy way. Fuck the easy way out. That doesn't get you anywhere. We don't want the easy way out. We want the hard way because the hard way is what actually gets you results. And I'm confident this builds over to every other area in life, not just gym. In your business, in your in your 
personal life, the relationships you have with people, it's the people that are willing to do the stuff that other people aren't willing to do, and to do consistently, that actually get results. It's the people that are willing to understand the universal law that to get good at something or to become someone who's on a high level or something, you have to get rid of this mindset of taking the easy way out. You have to fucking forget about the fat burners. You have to forget about the get rich quick schemes. You have to understand that it's going to take hard work and you have to embrace it and fuck the easy way out. Go and look for that hard work. Go against the current because against the current is where the gold is. Anyway, that's the message for today, guys. Fuck the easy way out. If you like that video, make sure you like it, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Until next time. Peace.